course, Asia is only one liter, then Beza is 1.3. So in the engine compartment area, there are big changes, of course, between one liter to 1.3. But then uh, on the uh, specifically on the uh, chassis portion, so we have done on some uh, specific suspension tuning uh, for improvement of the MV and stabilities. And then that one is also some tuning for the sedan because one is hatchback and one is sedan. So uh, in Beza, we use more high tensile steel, which is uh, low weight, uh, but then uh, the high rigidity and so on. So uh, mainly is that reductions in terms of uh, weight on the uh, body. The uh, crash structure for uh, Asia and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Beza is almost the same. But then, uh, of course, again, as I said, many of the reinforcement is changed to high tensile steel. So uh, this one is, of course, more rigid than the other one. The uh, main focus of improvement is uh, not only the MVH, but then uh, also in terms of uh, uh, performance, uh, fuel consumptions, and then uh, also there is a lot of uh, features which uh, Malaysian preferred. So uh, for this model, we done a lot of uh, a survey in the market and uh, really see what is the requirement of Malaysian customer carefully. Then uh, a lot of features is specifically designed for Malaysian daily usage. So uh, that is a lot of improvement in this car. The test is totally done in our new test course. And then uh, of course some of the uh, tests uh, which we do not have some uh, facilities here, then it will be done in Japan. Meaning for example the crash test and fuel consumption test is actually done in Japan. Other than that, the vehicle performance, uh, running performance test is actually done in our new test course which uh, we have completed last year. And then with the uh, new test course, we can simulate all the riding conditions in Malaysia. So uh, then uh, we don't need to go out to test, it can be done in our test course. It's not going to be an issue, so uh, the battery capacity has been increased. Then uh, also we have regenerating uh, uh, braking systems to uh, charging and discharge the battery. So we always keep the battery fully charged. And then uh, also our alternator is a new alternator so with the linear control alternator instead of conventional on-off alternator. The uh, battery life and starter and everything, I think the durability is the same as conventional type. There is no deterioration of, of that. In the conventional idle stop system, so it will just continue to be stopped until you release the pedal. But in this case, even though you don't release the pedal, there is a temperature sensor. If the cabin temperature goes up, then the eco idle will turn off by itself and then you just have the normal running. That one is a Malaysian unique because the weather condition here is warm, so we think these features is suitable for Malaysian customers. The system is already available in Daihatsu, so we are adopting the Daihatsu system into our car. So uh, then this VSC is first time we adopt it for the 1.3 variant. For this model, we introduce it in 1.3, but then uh, of course uh, we will be introducing it in all our future models. It's not going to be underpowered because the uh, engine has been improved as well. So it's an improved uh, one liter engine with VVTi. So in terms of load and uh, engine load and torque, it's actually much improved. So uh, we don't think it will be underpowered. The benefit of having VVTi is to increase the engine torque because it's much better than the, the, the non-VVTi one. It's just it's the improvement of the engine torque. The uh, DVVT engine for the uh, MyV is totally different than this one. So uh, of course, uh, this one is a much improved one and with the aluminum block and low weight and uh, high torque and so on. MyV one is a very old engine. Of course, this one is a totally new engine. The blocks, the head, everything is new. But then in terms of performance, so the NV level is much better in this one. Fuel consumption also has been improved. Uh, durability, everything is also improved. So this is a totally new engine, so there are a lot of differences and a lot of benefits as compared to the current MyV. Cost of ownership is the same. 
is almost the same level, so uh, there won't be any more expensive in terms of maintenance and so on. Because of the new engine, the service interval is increased, so you don't have to service it so often. Yeah, we achieve it, of course, is number one, we use um, uh, the uh, high, tensions, uh, high tensile steel to make the body more rigid. And then we put in also a lot of uh, insulations and then uh, also we improve in terms of CDs, the drag coefficients and so on. So all of that has contributed to this NV improvement.